Hi guys, how's it going? Um, quick video for you today, just general chit chat about what's going on with reselling and stuff like that. Um, I've been really, really busy, as you can probably see. Um, the top three shelves are now crammed right back to the back. Like, literally, I've got a little bit of space there. Uh, yeah, so I'm now sitting at 118 listings or 119 two sets. No, sorry, <laughs> 126 listings. Um, so yeah, I've been absolutely smashing it with getting listings up and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what's been going on. That's why there's been lack of haul videos, stuff like that. Um, and also hence why the image tutorial was a bit, of, yeah, a bit of a poor render. I apologize about that now, guys. Um, I've rushed it out, I just wanted to get it up for you guys. Um, I'm going to, as soon as I've got like a day free, I'm going to render it in a much better quality. Um, the only problem with doing it in high, like HD, HD like 1080 HD, like crystal clear. Um, my computer's a bit weak. It's got a 3.6 dual core um, CPU in it. For those of you that don't know about computers, it's okay, it's good, but it's not a beast so to speak so um yeah that's why it takes a bit longer to do them in H de like high definition basically but um yeah anyways um so yeah i've obviously got 118 126 listings up sorry as you just see i've got loads of stuff here that's got to be listed still um i'm slowly working through it all books stuff all down there as well so yeah um got loads of uh, magic of the gathering cards loads of pokemon cards i've got them off of a guy at a boot sale for a fiver. Um, I know Sam Latchford done Pokemon cards and stuff like that, and Nick does Magic the Gathering, so I'm going to have to go and re-watch the videos, re-fire on the best way to do them and stuff like that. Um, never really done trading cards or anything like that before. Um, also got loads of games and stuff like that in there. Some more PlayStation games in there that I got off of me old man. Um, stuff like that. This morning's little haul, I got an Adidas shirt for a quid. Um... The shop was doing buy two, get two free, and all the shops were like two pound. All the shirts, sorry, were two pound each, so it comes to one pound per shirt. Yeah, um, got an Adidas shirt um, for a quid. Hopefully get about six to seven quid back on that, so a five a profit. Um, this one here, I quite like this. Um, it's called Twister. Um, I presume it's after the American rapper Twister. Um, again, paid a pad, it's size L. Hopefully get about 12 quid for that. Um, not too sure, but yeah, hopefully 12 quid on that one. Um, Ralph Lauren Chaps, uh, size small. Again, paid a quid for this. Like Even though the label says two pounds, remember it was buy two, get two free, so it comes to a quid each. Um, yeah. Paid a quid for that, basically. Um, when I looked online, the prices for some of these went into the 20s. Um, I don't think I'm going to get 20 for this one, to be honest. I'm hoping for about 15 quid, maybe 12 quid, if that. Um, maybe a bit more, I don't know. I'm going to have a look at the prices. Um, another Nike one. Wee, bright light. <laughs> yeah, another Nike one. Um, paid a quid for this one as well. Um, hopefully again get around 12 15 pound mark for it because it's got a nice logo on the front um, if it was just a plain one with a little logo probably about six seven quid again but yeah hopefully about 12 15 quid for that um, this I got from a charity shop yesterday I paid two quid for it I think it was two quid roughly um, and I couldn't find any on eBay or Amazon the only one that I could find using an app was on a site called Vizzy or Vimy or something like that. Um, and that was for £18 brand new. So I'm probably going to stick this up for about 15 quid with uh, free postage on eBay. So a nice quick profit on that one. Um, where's the teddy gone? Down here. Uh, I've got this for £2.50. I think it was Ali Tristan. Oh, no. Oh, it's a Felt Hotel. Oh, look at that. Sweet. Felt Hotel. Oh, I thought it was ripped. <laughs> Dream shattered. Yeah, um, I think it was Ali Tristan from the... Um, Facebook group that said like big teddies like this do really really well um, I'm gonna try and get 20 quid for him uh, if not 15 quid easily hopefully I uh, paid £2.50 for him same charity shop as the shirts this morning so um yeah he's all good right these lot down here I got as a bundle from a charity shop they wanted £1.50 each these are actually listed now um, for £6.98 each 
Um, and there's loads of different colours. They're fabric dyes, basically, and they're called Dylon or Dylan, however you pronounce that name now. Um, they wanted one fifty each, and I managed to knock it down to about one pound each. So eighteen quid there, roughly. Um, so yeah, that's all good. A bit of profit in that. Uh, that's the camera that's up. I also got uh, this Minion Mass talking figure. There's loads of stuff. I paid one pound fifty for her. Um, she can go down there. She is currently up for I think fifteen quid. I can't quite remember. Around the fifteen quid mark. Um, big piglet today. Paid one pound fifty for a boot sale for her. Excuse me. Um, I've got her up for nineteen ninety nine. I think it is because she's quite a big one. So um, obviously price drop if it don't sell. Uh, what else did I get? I've got five of these for 50p as well, and I've already sold two of them. Um, if I come into the light, here we go. It's called the cable you, well, it's got the cable you need written on it, and it is a, it's like a split thing. Like, you see that there? It basically plugs into the device, and then you can have, like, your speakers and your headphones, like, basically a split jack plug thing. <laughs> I can't find the name on it, guys. Um... Two sacks. Yeah, no, I can't find a name on it. I did actually find a name on it the other day. Um, but yeah, they're selling quite well at 9 99 and I paid 50p for each one, and there was five of them, yeah. So, uh, nice bit of profit in that. Next was... Uh, this one here. This is a... It's like a sat-nav mount kind of thing. Like, you place it on your dashboard, um, and you sat-nav mounts onto it. I paid one pound for that in the same charity shop on the same day as I just got the DJ head, like the DJ leads from. Um, same shop as that, um, and that is up for I think twelve ninety nine. Um, so yeah, bit of profit in that as well. Uh, I also got this Pokemon wallet. Um, I think twenty five p from a boot sale. That's currently up for I think five ninety nine. So not a lot of profit, but pennies count I suppose. Um, this Gucci sunglasses case as well. I paid 75p for this out of a charity shop. And inside it's got a nice velvet kind of um, lining and it also comes with that. That's up for 15 quid and it's got three watches at the moment as well. So um, hopefully that sells at the end of the month. Uh, last thing I think it was. Uh, yeah, save the games I'll show you in a sec as well. Um, last thing. Second to last thing, sorry, I paid 50p for this guy in a charity shop. Um, now, in my last haul video, I shouted out some uh, muzzy, muzzy BBC learning language packs. This guy here, I only grabbed him because I recognised him from the front of that. And then I had a look at the tag, and it is the actual muzzy um, teddies. So, um, yeah, I was quite happy about grabbing him. He is up for... He's going 12 quid, I think. Two sets, if I can find him. Um, Muzzy, 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 there he is, yeah, Muzzy Soft Plush Toy, 12 99 it got one few and one watch out the same day, um, so I imagine, like, obviously it's a rare kind of niche from the looks of it, like, one few and it's been up for four days now, maybe, five days, if that, um, so yeah, like, I'm not too sure about them, to be honest, like, is it a niche that you'd want to get into, like, Muzzy, Muzzy is quite quite a good niche from the looks of things like expensive but slow sellers um that's that's the catch 22 on that one isn't it really um yeah last lot bundle of sega mega drive games um i'll probably make a separate video of these once they've all sold um but there's loads of them guys i paid 30 quid for the lot they wanted 69 quid they were three pound each and there was 20 23 of them i think um, yeah, 23 of them, and I've already sold one, one of them for 15 quid, um, two sets, let me, I want to check this one quickly for you, because, uh, Sega games are a good niche, really, really good, and a lot of money to be made in them, so if I just find it, right, here we go, yeah, so there's the first one, Dracula for the Sega Mega Drive, £14 with free postage, um, 
there's the second one there, Robocop and uh, Robocop v Terminator and Terminator 2, the arcade game for Sega, £25, guys. Um, so I've already made my money back. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. My um, storage filled up on my phone, so I just had to uh, quickly ship a load of stuff off of it. Um, so anyway, yeah, as I was saying, like that's Sega games for you. Um, they're, they're, they're good good to look out for. Um, what else has been going on in reselling? Um yeah, I'm going to be expanding the office as well. Um, obviously, uh, there's the shop, like the book, the uh, bookshop that I mentioned. I think I mentioned. Um, if I haven't, basically, there's a shop that was shutting down. I went in there, said to them like, "How much for the lot?" And they was like, "You can have it." So tomorrow, me and my mates are going up there to get it. So uh, yeah, um, with that, I'm um, space is small. Um, so I'm going to be expanding the office. I'll give you a quick look of where I'm expanding it to. I'm going to be going right up to the back of there. And then along there. Yeah, so I'm going to be having all of that space, basically. Um, so, yeah, that's expanding. Um, Reselling-wise, I mean, yeah, stock's getting plentiful. <laughs> it really is. Um, so that's that's a good thing. I'm sitting at 126, as you just see. Next month, I'll be top-rated seller as well. Um, I, had, I missed it by this month by 10 sales. Um, and I've not hit them 10 sales yet, but I'm, I've had 5 sales since then, so uh, I'll be top rated seller by next month easily. Um, so, looking forward to that. I'm a bit disappointed I didn't make it this month, but at least I know that I'm going to be making it next month. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's I'm looking forward to that. Um, anything else reselling? I think that's about it, to be honest with you guys. Um, yeah, so... Quick little update video for you for what's going on in that. Um, let us know what you think of the video. Um, two sets, guys. Got to dry them out. Excuse me, sorry about that. That's the other thing that I'm going to be getting. A uh, little mini fridge, microwave, kettle, stuff like that. Um, I spend quite a lot of money in the cafe at the moment. Where I'm up here every day. Last week I've done 50 quid. Um, yeah, 50 pounds that could have gone on stock. So, um... Yeah, basically, going to be getting my own utensils and that up here and um, treating it as like an office, like literally a real office fridge, everything like that. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, that's it, guys. Literally, that is everything that's been going on. Um, yeah, I shall catch you later. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, just quickly as well, if you like this video, um, can you let us know in the comment? Because obviously, where where I'm like trying to get as much done as possible, um, time for doing videos and stuff like that's not being plentiful. Um, like I've got loads of footage, but it's just finding the time to like edit it and do voiceovers and stuff like that. Um, so I've got footage of me actually in the charity shop, what I look for and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that's gonna get done soon, guys. I promise you, it's just time. Um, but for the time being, if you're happy with these type of videos, just little updates, letting you know what's going on and stuff like that. Um, yeah, let us know, and I will try and get one done like on a weekly basis or something like that. Um, make sure you tune in for the Hangout on Sunday as well. There's going to be me, Sean Longley, um, Wayne Lewis, which his shop is called... Uh, Bargains, True Bargains, I think. Um, so yeah, go subscribe to him, he's over the, to your right on the screen, um, under the feature channels. Um, and there's going to be Tom, I can't remember his name, um, he's a new guy to YouTube, new to the group as well. So um, we've tried to do it so that we've got people that are like, from like a beginner's side of view, like Tom said that he's been doing it on and off since Christmas, I think he said, just before Christmas. Um, but he's only just taking it seriously um, recently. So he's basically pretty new to the reselling scene. I've been doing it now for the last two to three months, I think, like properly, like after the office. Um, well, no, I built the office within the first month, roughly. Um, 
so for the last two months, I'd say month, month and a half, I've been doing it a bit more and more and more till recently, which has been pretty full time. Um, and then you've got Wayne Lewis, he's been doing it the same as me, roughly, pretty much. And Sean Longley, um, absolutely great channel. Seriously, guys, watch him if you um, haven't already. Like, funny, funny man, funny man. Um, I, I, I like watching his videos, he's uh, got a nice bit of humour in him. Um, he's been doing it for nine years, I think he said. Um, like, on and off at boot sales and stuff like that. Um, and then he's seen Nick's video and it sparked it off for him. Um, again. So, <laughs> yeah, like, cheers for the videos, you three, as well. Um, looking forward to Sunday. And, uh, yeah, any questions that you want to ask us, um, fire away, and we'll try and answer them as best as we can. So, uh, yeah, guys, anyways, third time now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and everything else that comes with it. And I shall see you Sunday.